change anything. For now, just run. <laughs> run with all the breath you have. <laughs> Noah, over here. We can go through here, and then we're out. All right. Oh, no! Sparks! We almost made it. I'm sorry. Huh? If I'd been just a bit faster, I could have saved many more lives. Uh, who are? I'm Ethel, from Colony 4. Silvercoat Ethel! She pushed her colony all the way to rank silver, and in her third term at that. Some do call me that. However, a person's worth isn't in their color. It's here. Nice blade you've got. when you left here. But you've nothing to show for it, Dee. Oh, spare me, P. After all, I did precisely what I was meant to do. So? About that huge bet of yours? Pray tell us who won. Pah! A draw, I think. There were two whole colonies on the field. We should have sallied forth in the first place. The whole thing would have been done by tea time. Duh. It was Jay who insisted on it. I thought that that had already been communicated. In that case, I believe it's my turn next. H, I'm pretty sure you already had your kicks the other day when you wiped out Colony 8, no? Surely the turn is mine. Honestly, you make more noise than the rabble at a feast. That. Even if you did stop its raging flow, it will soon burst through. All it takes is the slightest fissure. And that is fate. I've told you before, haven't I? D. Ah, the gang's all here again. Okay. Will you go? If you say I go, I go. Well then, let us see how far the flow brings them this time.
Guys, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Tyon, morning! Hey, did we wake you? Honestly, I'm surprised you haven't gone and woken up the whole Forsaken Continent. So? Oh, this. We reckon we might be able to do the same as what Noah and Mio did. You reckoned? You mean that Ouroboros thing? Yeah! How badass was that? We thought if we pulled it off, it'd raise our chances of survival a whole bunch. And you think it's that easy? Huh? I mean... I don't mean to burst your bubble here, but don't you think maybe that power's meant only for them? Yeah, but that Mobius guy, he did refer to us. I just thought... You thought maybe you could transform as well? What makes you think it would be you two, anyway? Say it is possible. It could be me and Lance. It's just... kind of a feeling. Yeah, just a hunch, right? Something wrong? Not at all. Then, uh, I guess that leaves me with her. <sighs> I envy you, I really do. Oh, what are you moaning about now? Let's drop it. I don't want us bickering this early. Especially, not now we seem to be sharing a common destiny, we happy few. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're trying to get us all worked up. Think whatever you want. I think you might be on the mark, though. Oh? We were all there, every one of us, in the same situation. Now, hold on. The only difference was... I was set on protecting Mio, protecting all of you guys. And then I suddenly transformed. That's it? That's all it took? Yeah. So you can take that form via a strong desire or emotion? Possibly. Probably too much to ask a Professor Grump here. What, me? Well, who'd you think? And you're any different? What, me? <laughs> As if I'm gonna join with you! Uni. Come on, though. You're not going to manage this overnight. Not the way you all are right now. Even so, it can't hurt to have a little hope, can it? Hmm. I suppose there's logic in that. Hey, guys. Could I have a moment? Meh? Hmm? Yeah? What's up? There's something that I forgot to tell you. It's about who in charge of Dindin duties? No. From now on, I want us to avoid combat as much as possible. So, Kevez, Agnes, if either of them decide to put up a fight, don't kill them, okay? Not saying I'm against the idea, but why? Guess it'd suck having to draw on our allies. Do we just knock them out cold or something? Or get them to surrender. How kind of you. Huh? I'm sure our past victims will appreciate that. You little... We don't need to take any more lives. There's no point. <sighs> There's a reason we met. There has to be. Huh? You think? Back then, if we hadn't met each other, we wouldn't be here like this now. Even though we're being chased by both nations at once. We get chased, we run. Easy.
A smart new decision. We'll keep on running to that sword. <sighs> Talk about bad blood. Just give it time. It's early days. Maybe so. Funny pattern you got there. You can talk. You've got those shiny chest doodads. We've always had these. You know, I've never even thought of myself as strange before. So many things. Taken for granted. We're pretty different, huh? Worlds apart. No one's worlds apart. If anything, we should be questioning all that we've thought to be true. Differences are all a matter of perspective. <laughs> Our skeptic. Hey, are you always like this? Of course. It's my nature. Hmm. Personally, I think it's easier to take things at face value, you know? Now, wouldn't that be nice? Huh? You making fun of me? All I said was, it would be nice. Oh, no, you don't. You just call me an airhead, you jerk. This is just... How long are you going to drag this out? For as long as I spark in need to. Until you come clean, Four Eyes. I can't believe this. Someone shoot me. No, no, no! More to the right! Right there! Start lowering! Make sure it's airtight! Stand around here, finer than Ruska flower. I could do a triple weld. Sure. Long as the output's stable. Yes, sir. What's up with the K rounds? We're two caches short. Hope you didn't snuff up the order. I don't know, okay? Got a problem, take it up with logistics. We're just a dirt rent colony. Low as they come. You think the castle gives a crap? A Queen's Oath, this pisses me off. We get better scores than any sparking colony out there. Did you know? For ten rank field rations, I hear they get Arden meat. Really? And us mudders? Trust me, you really don't want to know. <sighs> I miss the good old silver days. Didn't have to rely on rations back then. We had cooks come and serve us right on the front line. Used to get Armu sirloin, we did. Seriously? Oh, hey! What now? My own indiscretion has caused you difficulties. I'm sorry. No! Uh, we would never... Our apologies, Commander Ethel. That was all, uh, just banter. Believe me, we had no intention of... You enjoyed eating our mistake, did you? Uh... Yes, I did. Tastiest food I ever ate. I liked it as well. And I hope we will have it again. So lend me your strength. Mom! Yes, Mom! I don't see what's wrong with Wolf, personally. <laughs> That's because you have poor taste. I'm jealous. Oh, well. Trade you my taste buds? No, thank you. My mouth had turned as foul as yours. <laughs> True that. They cleared out real fast. I hear the attending consul is a particularly punctual sort of character. Please not another stickler for the rules. Can't be long now. Yep. Got about five minutes to go. Whoa! Well, well, Consul dear. Your reputation certainly precedes you.
sake, a hover type? I mean, did they not get the memo about the terrain here? insufferably dusty around here. Clearly, the place befits its dirt rank status. The rainy season will soon be upon us. I ask your patience for just this short while. Is that so? Then, leaving aside the issue of cleanliness, just what is with all this fog? I don't take kindly to my vision being obfuscated. Go oh, forget it. So, where are my quarters? Yes, this way. <sighs> what a filthy room. How the dirt rank has fallen. <sighs> I suppose that would be something to take up with the castle. Arthuronis is an old model. I understand your displeasure. But please don't escalate this. Do I detect some defiance? No, no, that, that was never my... Relax, girl, I jest. Now then, let's cut the chit-chat and talk business. I'd like you to eradicate some vermin for me. Vermin? By your leave, sir, we've detected no movement from Agni and Pharonesis around this area. Not Agnes. People. Soldiers. A band of deserters from both sides. Well, something like that. Agnes and Kevis. Both. I think it's best you see for yourself. Hmm. This is expressly at the Queen's behest. Don't foul this up. Looking at something? Oh, nothing in particular, really. It's just kind of a habit. Checking our status, the war. Watching for info updates. Silly. <laughs> Don't know why I still bother to check it anymore. Not like there'd be updates. Oh. What is it? An icon just popped up. Over your head. Huh? Oh, yeah. Now I can see an icon for you as well. When did we unlock a feature like this? I've never noticed it before. Yours seems to be the only one not locked. Huh? What? Like a sparking light bulb. I guess there must still be more to this feature. Hey, that's Mimi's. What in the blazes? I've never used this kind of blade before, but all the techniques I can use with it are flashing before my eyes. weird. Not like we suddenly just gain the knowledge out of the blue, but as if it were always ingrained deep within us. Strange. Oh, 
Doesn't look like I can get Mimi's gear. Now that's a shame. Hmm. This it. <gasps> How come I got Moody Guts and not Noah's, huh? That's what I'd like to know. Your class is the only one I can seem to pick, unfortunately. Whoa! You can lug this thing about without a power frame. Not bad. Don't know how this is even working, but cool. But is this all part of Ouroboros too? If it gives us more options in battle, I'm all for it. Yeah, I want to take this new blade out for a spin. From here, we head due south, right? Perfect. We can test them out on the road. I felt a lot more nimble there, like the way you usually fight. It looked like second nature to you. It was crazy. You should have seen yourself. <laughs> I think I could have thrashed you with a little more practice. You know, it's totally bananas. Ouroboros is bonkers powerful. Right? Oh! The gauge for the locked icon has filled right up. Same here. So logically, if we gain enough experience by fighting together, we will become able to use each other's classes. That seems to be it. As much as I'd like to experiment... Yeah, I guess we shouldn't stay in one place for too long. Right. Well, better get ourselves down south. Hold it a moment. I have a proposal as to our next route. Okay, shoot. I'll send you the map data. Broadly speaking, it's either east or west. I would suggest we go west. Why is that? The area to the west is under Agnes's control. There is a certain degree of risk, as they'll have deployed a number of units, but it's the quickest way to get south. What about the east route? No man's land. None of the colonies have laid claim to it as of yet. However, we'd suffer a significant time loss. Time versus risk. Wait a sec. We're going to stir up the Skeeter Nest. I only said there was a degree of risk. Really, it's not so bad. But Agnian troops are deployed there, yeah? Yes. And we're still going to go? All I said is that it would be more efficient. Efficient? Well, maybe we do need to be more efficient. Faster is better. We don't want to be dragging our heels forever, right? Hey, I just have to ask. Are you trying to push some agenda? What? No, certainly not. But you admit the East Route is the safer option. That's just strange. Why wouldn't you pick the safe way? Because time is of the... Look, there you go again. That's not all, though. It's all wasteland to the east. The... the heat. It'll be unbearable. Uh, yeah, you're gonna melt in the sun. I'm fine with your choice, but we need to think about everyone's safety. Noah, what's your take? Me? Um... I think I'd rather take the safe route. As for the heat, we can probably figure something out. There, four against two. <sighs> Tyon, Senna. Please. <sighs> Fine then, if you absolutely insist. Then it's settled. 
Come on, cheer up, guys. We're out of here. Together now, Mimi. I'll drag you along myself if I have to. I mean, I get that it's hot, but really? Whether we're talking food or weather, Mio does not take to heat. I knew this would happen. Heat's never bothered you, has it, Lance? Nope. I'm made of sterner stuff. Honestly, I'm starting to feel a little worn out. A spot to rest would be nice about now. Hey, look! There! Mimi, look! It's water! There's an oasis! W water Yeah, water! Water! Come on, let's go! Yeah! Oh, come on. Talk about overreacting. We should be thankful they're back in high spirits. Let's just hope it's not a mirage. Every day. Staying here, are you? I've got something to take care of. I'll send it to you now. A map? From the survey branch. Annihilation events occur frequently here. Annihilation events? You mean... Look. It happens here too. Given our route, we should take the safest way possible. Very cautious of you. It's my duty to be. Thank you. Uh... Sure. <gasps> hey, can I ask you something? It's special, isn't it? Your blade, I mean. Um... Sometimes one part of it glows. Why is that? Oh. You can tell. That's amazing. It's hard not to. Oh, right. 
Is it a secret? No. I can tell you. Noah, my man! Are you still playing around with that little toy? Have you considered a knock-on weapon? You might actually get somewhere with that. Oi! You deaf or what, Noah? Garvel? Noah, this is bad! <laughs> Not even a peep. Don't need to pay us any attention. Oh, please. I wasn't ignoring you. Once I finish this set, we can chat! What? <sighs> well, what were you saying? Noah! For dead weight, you're a right snuffing peacock! You... you slippery little mudder! Oh. Well, anything else? You... snuffing weakling! Blast it all! Ugh. Oh, you... Break it up now. Didn't know you could be so petty, Garvel. Puh. Ain't got no time for this muscle head. Wanna say that again? Hm. We'll settle this properly in tomorrow's trial. Move it! <gasps> Noah, are you okay? Don't let it get to you. Guys like that are the first ones to snuff it in a real battle. No, I'm not worried about him. I really can't call my weapon, though. I worry I'll end up being a burden. Never thought that here, not even once. Thanks. Kind of you to say. It's just the truth. Where are you going? To visit Riku, since it broke. Trial. It's tomorrow. I'm gonna need a new weapon for that.
What's this? Magic sword. Lucky seven. In distant past were seven legendary swordsmith pawn. Over course of seven years, forged sword from seven types of steel. No other sword like it in existing. Magic? Lucky seven? Lance, please to give good cleave with blade and split clean in halves. Sure about that. Better not pull some, you break it, you bought it. Sneaky sort of deal. Riku would never dream. Just put all of heft into mighty swing. Weird ask. Uh, sure. You want me to cut it? I'll cut it, I guess. Here it comes. Queen's beans. There's not even a nick in it. Friends surprised? Indeed, his most prized of swords. Even armor of Peronis gets sliced to itsy bits. I think I'll pass. Pass? So you not have need for? Yeah, it's too strong. Hmm. Noah want Lance and friends to kick buckets? No, what the spark? Same as letting friends die. No, it's not. If friends not fight, cannot survive. Sure, but I don't need to use your sword. Then, why no one not call Blade? It's not our choice, I just can't. False. Riku see through like transparent. <sighs> Noah can call Blade. Just no big desire of fighting spirit. Riku? Hey, is he serious? <sighs> Noah? What the? All this time? Huh? <laughs> if death is not option, should live. Only way is fight like life depends. Thinking of self alone is way of coward. Though, Riku know feeling well. I'm afraid. Of fighting, you mean? Of this world. It's so brutal and relentless. And I'm afraid of what we might become. Mate. Ho oh, ho ho! Riku knew Noah was hero material. Huh? It true this sword possess incredible power. Might even rob enemies of many much lives, yes. But only those who understand nature of terror have right to wield. Eh, quoth Master Pon of Riku, anyhaps. <sighs> So, if Noah can call Blade now, can still keep Lucky Seven, maybe in some kind of disguise. In different words, can turn it into sheath. Sheath? Can use it in fights like normal. But if ever push come to shove, time will come when Noah truly need Lucky Seven's strength. Then is only matter of drawing. When I truly need its strength. Exact. If no one never lose sight of that feeling, one day such time surely come. That is, if I can master it. If felt to master, just give back. Can pick out different one. Ah, uh, right. Please not to feel specially indebted to Riku. Just take. No need for overthinkings. <laughs> okay, I accept your offer. Oh, and Riku? What is? Mind if I change the name? Me? Lucky Seven just isn't doing it for me. Did you end up picking? Huh? Um, name. Uh huh. You don't want to say? Or what? Is it that embarrassing? N no, it's not embarrassing. That's not it. <laughs> I'm getting strong emotional vibes here. I wouldn't say emotional per se, rather something I miss. 
Ya. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're the second one that's noticed this weapon. Really? Is that something special? It is. And the first? Who was it? She's incredible. And we owe her our lives. This will be sketchy. Yeah, agreed. What friends are afraid of, hmm? I'm seeing signs of patrols. Was it Colony 4? Colony 4? Colony of Bad But Elites, led by a commander of great repute. Whole rest of Kevis acknowledge their superiority. Are you certain? This is Neil Valley. Right. Like Riku said. But how can this be? How can their zone of control extend this far out? Huh? Anyone feel that? <gasps> A quake? Hmm. No, it's... Over there! Monsters. Noah, look. That's Ethel. You said Ethel. You mean Silver Code Ethel. You know about her. Even in Agnes, the name has spread far and wide. Silver Code Ethel. A veteran soldier unmatched in strength. People would whisper about how she fell three colonies at once with just a hundred troops. Yeah, but. This is Ethel. We know her name, so? So, she helped us out once before. She was strong, but kind. She could still help. Noah? It might not work, but... Noah! It's all right. Sorry. I thought I could convince her. Shit, man, it wouldn't work. Taking cover. Bad move. Very well done, Ethel. I do so love your loyalty. 
Now, the enemy is before you. Chase them to the ends of the world. Not a single one of them can escape. Yep, just keep them coming. No problem. Look out! Risky business. Doesn't help that their cannons are way too accurate. They shouldn't be able to see us from over there. How do we know location of Manana and friends? The Iris. There? Her red iris is doing this. It's relaying our exact position to her troops. Snuff this! Lads, six o'clock! Spark! Again! The soldiers! Their whole squad, those heartless mudders. Guys, pull back to the cave. What cave? We're sitting bunnets out here. In there, we can take cover from the volleys. And after that? Think about that later. No plan B. I didn't have time. You can't run from me, Brett. I've got my eye on you. Black fog? Really? Suddenly fog? <laughs> ah, no big deal. It'll hardly slow me down. I still have eyes on the prize. Hmm. Hey, Tyre! Have you been here? No. Then what? The enemy's acting strangely. Something's off. Off how? Even when we engage, the other soldiers don't provide backup. It's like none of them have been given orders. You're overthinking it. I thought I was at first. Hey, Noah. Yeah. I agree with Tyle. They did seem kind of slow to respond. Oh, no. We can get down from the left side. With any luck, we can lead them the wrong way. Huh? Huh. She read us like a book. Ethel, do you really not recognize us at all? Disgusting. Huh? The sight of you things speaking the words of man. It makes my skin crawl. Huh? We'll never get through. Come off it. Just what the spark does she see us as? Goggles? She's right there. Why don't you ask her? I will get a straight answer. She's way too good. Well, I guess we don't call her Silvercoat Ethel for nothing, eh? Tight pinch keeps getting tighter! Mimi, 
Understood. Ready? We can't. But why not? It's too powerful. We could just wind up killing her. Yes, but... What happened? She just stopped. What? What am I fighting against here? Maybe now. Ethel! It's me! It's Noah! Did you say Noah? Ethel! Ethel! Needs must. Consul! Really? This is why I can't stand far. And we were just getting to the good part. Consul! I... I'm... What? What am I... Silence! You are pathetic! Ah! Ethel! <laughs> I suppose it's more fun this way. Well, don't you agree? It's the big bad boss. Boom! Did we do it? Wait! Something's wrong. The light's being drawn in. Same as when Noah and Mimi. <gasps> he transformed. He looks exactly like that other one. That Iris. So he was the one controlling the troops. Mobius. But he's looking pretty hurt. Come on! What? His wounds. They look like they're healing. Again. No way. He's stealing from the clocks. <laughs> My dear boy, your perfect intuition is shit. I'm not stealing from them. I, as Mobius, have the right to do with the flame clocks as I please. You may hurt me as much as your heart's desire. But where there is life and vitality, I'm afraid I shall not fall. Come now. Why don't you give it your best shot? And have at me! <laughs> if you think you can. Stop attacking! Uni! Lance! You must be fucking joking! If we let up now, he'll take us down! But... our friends from Colony 4! Wake up, Noah! They're not your friends anymore! They're his fuel! <gasps> Even so! <laughs> <laughs> These soldiers will nourish me like glitter radishes in season. Can always grow plenty more. If I need a little extra, I can collect them whenever I want. <sighs> He's killing more of our friends, the more we hate him. There has got to be a way. What if we. But then. What? Did you think of something? <sighs> Come on! The flame clock. What if we smashed it? You what? 
How should I know something like... Do you mean... But what if we just end up killing everybody? If we keep fighting like this, we're all dead. Rock in a hard place, huh? Whatever life is lost, I won't let you shoulder it all alone. Mia. I think it's about time we entered the final act. Try it. Lance! What's up? Draw his attention for me. The memoir! I'll get in close and destroy the flame clock. What? Look, if you do that, we've got to. It's the only way. On my head be it! The spark you on about! I'm not gonna let you take the fall alone! Understood. Just say when, guys. Thanks, everyone. I'll count down from three. Three, two, one. Let's go! <laughs> I know what you're thinking. However... If I keep on firing pot shots, I'm bound to hit one of you sooner or later, preferably sooner! Now you try to open your eyes, but I'm talking to 
yourselves so close up. Because now I can look upon you with all your radiance. <laughs> Noah and friends will set things right. Even armor of Veronis gets sliced to itsy bits. If it can really take Veronis clean out, then maybe. Mio! Try again! Cancel the interlink after we jump! What's the plan? Looks like the time has come. What are you talking about? Fire! Ready when you are! What are you? She only lost consciousness. Right. That's good. Which leaves... Someone who deserves a real thrashing. Playing with our lives like they're nothing. You're dead meat! Look at this ugly mother's face. Yeah. Stuck tight. How did you get this thing off? Ah. <gasps> this guy. He's so different from us. Is this what consoles look like? All wrinkled. Just like Guernica. Is this what aging's like? I don't know. Ah, uh. oh, it's you. I see. I'm so sorry. All I remember is that I was fighting against some abhorrent creatures. And you tell me it was you. So this is the Consul. This is how he really looks. He's fading. Just like during a homecoming. Nope. No way. You're not sending him on. You realize how messed up that is? Huh? You think so? How do you not... Think about the things this guy did! He tried to kill us all and rob the soldiers of their remaining life. You're right. Both of you are right. And Mio? 
Honestly, I'm not sure I would. Okay. Oh, I'll just do it anyway. Just now, I felt his essence brush past me. It felt just the same as ours. So, I feel I have to do this, you know? <sighs> Mia, have you ever touched a mote of light from a Kavesi? <sighs> They're the same as ours. On the other side, the people live hoping the same things as us. now. Sometimes he's just too kind. That or he just loves his job. He too by the book. An airhead. That's what he is. Don't think he's thinking about it too deeply. Just doing it because it's part of his nature, eh? Mm. Weirdo. I concur. Sorry, you didn't have to help. It's fine. It's our duty. I'm worried I didn't play well. But why? You did it expertly, just like last time. I still can't stop shaking. Because of the flame clock? Yeah. I was terrified. Still, all thanks to your decision, we're alive. You're really something. It was a team effort. You're Agnes! Lower your weapons, Boliaris. Come again? I'll explain everything to you later. Please, Boliaris. Uh, sure. Then it seems the flame clock is indeed gone, as you say. And yet, I'm seeing nothing of these symbols you speak of. It seems evident you possess something that we do not have. I see. Sorry for getting you involved. No need to apologize. Exceptional as this is, I consider it a blessing to be freed from constant battle. Glad to hear you say that. I was pretty worried. Are you sure it's okay for us to be hanging around here? My troops are under strict orders. It's true you three are affiliated with Agnes, but we also owe you our lives. We should count our blessings, no?
This feels awkward. We can stick it out. Sorry. This is kind of our fault. Don't worry about it. You heard Ethel, right? Hmm. The console we fought back there. Uh-huh. Oddly, he was strikingly similar to our own console. Both sides are gonna have consoles. Why is that odd? More accurately, not just similar. They're the same. They're the same? Are they really? Our colonies regard each other as enemies. But if the consuls giving the orders are the same, it means... It means? Hmm. Come on. Just spit it out, man. A console's such a big deal. I thought they were everywhere, like your run-of-the-mill knock-on. Riku refused to let Remark of Uni slide. Got that right? Knock-on a rare species world cannot live without. Protect at all cost. Uh, leaving Napon out of this... What's this mean? That these guys are mega suspicious? Yes. I suspect they may be more deeply involved than we thought. Involved how, though? With what? With the reason why we fight. With deciding our fate. Our fate? And the queens? You think they're in cahoots? What can you tell us about your queen? I think we've only laid eyes on her once. Right? Yeah. At the homecoming, I think. She had long silver hair. Yep. Real dignified. Proper pretty wings, too. Wings? Like yours, Uni. Sort of. But they were much more of a shining white. Well, as for our queen, she was really elegant, refined and graceful. And her ears, they were super long. Up to here. Hmm. Guess that means our queens are different folks, all right? The consuls are kind of like the queen's servants, right? The castles. Their role is to convey the queen's directives to the colonies, along with handling admin and decision-making. So what? If we explain the deal to the Queen, you think she might actually get the picture? Yeah? Pretty much. I don't recommend getting your hopes up. Oh, yeah? The Queens sit at the very pinnacle of the hierarchy. So you think they won't even give us the time of day, huh? I'm saying they might be the same as the Consuls, our enemy. What? Also, somehow that consul, he became Mobius. Or maybe Mobius is the consuls. The situation's already dire enough. It'll be best to temper our expectations. <sighs> Uroboros has no place in this world. Their existence must be erased without a trace. <laughs> 